Hey folks, we're out here at Lake Elsinore for all you off-roaders and wannabe off-roaders. We're with Fox Shocks and what a wonderful day. We got Corey Eastman with us. First off, thank you very much for inviting us out. Thanks for coming out, Dave. But let's talk shocks. I mean, you were nice enough to put us in a stock Jeep, a mild Jeep, and a full-blown Jeep. And this is the stock shock, a stock Jeep had none of the above. So let's kind of start from the beginning for a consumer's point of view and we'll work our way to the top. What, what are we looking at right here? You betcha. So uh, in this far uh, set here, we have Fox's Performance uh, 2.0. It's an IFP shock. IFP means internal floating piston. Um, heat is the enemy of almost any form of performance. It gets hot, you lose performance. Shocks are no different. We use an aluminum body because aluminum dissipates heat a lot better than steel. And we use this floating piston to separate the gas charge from the oil. Most shocks or, or many gas shocks, they're together and when they start working and start getting hot, they turn to, to a mushy foam, mm -hmm. which doesn't do anything to control what's happening with the vehicle. From there, we move to our Performance Elite. Uh, that's what you felt in the, uh, the second Fox vehicle. This is a, a bigger body. It's a two and a half inch shock. It handles heat that much better. Uh, it also is fully adjustable with the ability to adjust for terrain, for speed, for weight, all of that sort of stuff. So you can keep your, your suspension performance consistent no matter what kind of off-roading you're doing. Gotcha. Uh, and then lastly is our factory. This is, is literally as close as you're gonna get to a full trophy truck competition type shock. It has internal bypass, which is a, uh, a Fox patent. Um, it's really a pretty amazing product. All of these shocks are designed, tuned, and built specifically for application. So it's not that we have this shock that just fits a lot of different things. It's that we tune this specifically for each vehicle. That's what you were feeling today. And for the DIY guy or girl, they're bolt-on. You don't have to have a machinist degree or you don't have to necessarily take it to a shop because Fox, if I'm not mistaken, they have videos that if you can go to the website and it'll actually walk you through doing the installation. Absolutely, installation is very straightforward. It literally is just replacing a set of shocks. So in a lot of cases, you'll also see lifts and that sort of thing happen. Uh -huh. Again, very doable by the home mechanic um, or something that there are lots of great shops that can, can walk you through the process and get you set up. But then you got the Fox Academy. Absolutely. Let's so Let's talk a little bit about sure. that. Sure, so Fox Academy, you know, when you add something like the adjustability that we have here with our, with our clickers, that sort of thing, um, you also need to educate. So, you know, how do you adjust something for, say, an expansion uh, mark in a freeway versus, you know, bumps off-road mm -hmm. or hoops off-road or vehicle leaning from side to side? Those are, are different things and you need to adjust differently for it. We've created the Fox Academy to walk folks through all of those needs. And how much does it cost to go to the Academy? The Academy is absolutely free. Oh, well, I knew there would be wait, something. But wait, there's more. Oh. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's available It's available on uh, Fox Academy uh, slash ridefox.com. Uh, and literally we have topics that cover not only our automotive shocks, our UTV shocks, our snow shocks, our motorcycle shocks, all the different categories that we cover in, uh, in power sports. What's this monster thing next This to monster it? here, this is the super cool. This is a full race four by four external quad bypass. Uh, it is, uh, it, it allows amazing adjustability. If you're going down to Baja and racing the premier class, this is the type of shock that you're using. Yeah, this is the one you could jump from street to street with no problem. A absolutely, absolutely. Down here you see our, our live valve. Live valve is a technology uh, that is actually semi-active. It adjusts on its own for the different terrain. This is something that, that is currently available on products like the Ford Raptor. Fox has a lot of OE stuff as well. We also have this available on a lot of our, our UTV offerings. Right, exactly. And then down the road here we have? So we get down here, we get into more of our, our power sports side of things. So uh, Fox comes standard on a lot of UTVs, pretty much any top of the line performance UTV is gonna have Fox suspension on it. Exactly. Uh, what you get from the factory is a very adjustable uh, shock in a lot of cases if you're adding weights or different tunes you might need to change springs or do a little bit of tuning but it's all there if you're really ready to step up you can do a full internal bypass uh, and and actually work with Fox or one of our tuning companies uh, to really set things up for the way that you're using it. And then we go into even things like, of course, our mountain bike lines, everything from seat posts to rear shocks and forks. Wait, bicycles? Bicycles, we do a ton of bicycle stuff as well. No kidding. Um, so you'll find most premier uh, mountain bikes uh, come standard with, sh with Fox, as well as a lot of, uh, of aftermarket opportunities to really tune your bicycle the way you want it. And then we also do motorcycle stuff. So gotcha. fork kits for Harley Davidson's, um, remote reservoir and piggyback shocks for everything from baggers to sportsters, all that good stuff. And every one of these lines is an adjustment. 
Yes, yeah, so absolutely. You've got hundreds of it absolutely. all the way down to and, 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 everything and you're this, looking for. Exactly, and in this case, you actually have what, what we call a crossover, which is this composite piece here. Uh, that allows you to, to take advantage of these springs, both have a different rate. Oh. And with a crossover, it allows you to literally cross over with, as the vehicle's dealing with different loads, and it sets that ride height. That is amazing. So a shock like this, you're actually controlling your ride height with the spring that's part of the shock. Sure. With what we were talking about earlier on Jeeps, there's a separate spring, and so the shock is, is controlling that that load, but the spring is actually carrying is carrying your your height. Yeah. And, and why should any of this surprise us? This is what you do for a living. You eat, sleep, and drink shocks. Absolutely. That's that's what we do. It's, and, it's and, a good I time. and I think the shock world really is what will get you the performance. Not a turbocharger, not a big block motor. You can have the biggest motor in the world, but if it doesn't touch the ground properly, you just wasted a lot of money. If you can't control it, it's really kind of pointless. Uh, and, and really, uh, you know, in today's day and age, um, you know, it used to be that you, you really needed to soup things up and you needed to start with the engine. Everything has such great performance now and such a wide power torque curve. Um, so really it all comes down to how are you controlling that yeah. and that's where suspension comes in. And this is not an easy, easy world to get into. I mean, because there's so many variables, you know, from weight to, like you said, using aluminum versus steel. Yeah, it saves weight, but it also keeps the heat down. And all of the viscosities and the different, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Well, and, and we, we, have a, we have an absolutely incredible engineering team. Yes, um, you do. We've got a very large engineering team that is spread out all over the country, all over the world, actually, when you talk about bicycle stuff. Uh, and they, they get together, they share. Um, you know, what guys are learning on trophy trucks might very well cross over to UTV, even some bicycle stuff. Like our live valve technology, that's something that we have a bicycle line with live valve just like we do on the Raptors. So wow. a lot of that technology, our engineers can cross over uh, from different disciplines and learn from each other. You've actually done cutaways and it shows you the different internal systems. So what do we got here? So this is our performance. This is sort of our, our first step in suspension. We're talking about an IFP, an internal floating piston. That's what this is here. That piston has a gas charge up here, oil here, and then the oil is passing through this piston, which is what's actually controlling the speed of, of, the, uh, of the shock as it's going through its stroke. This is very important because this keeps your nitrogen and your oil separated and, uh, and prevents things from foaming. Gotcha. As you move down the line, now you have a remote reservoir. So now we put the, the, the gas over in this chamber. The oil still is able to move. It's got a much bigger body. It's able to cool even more because of the larger body, and it's able to control more oil flow because of the larger piston here. This also then adds compression adjustment. Adjustability. So now you've got compression adjustability for high speed on this lower one and then low speed on this up one, on this top one. Um, that just allows a lot more adjustment. Now you can adjust for, I've added a load to my vehicle. Right. We're going to something super gnarly. I want something really flush. I can adjust that. Then we move all the way to our factory. All of these features still here, an even bigger body. And what this is, is actually what we call internal bypass. That actually, these open as they go under pressure and allow more oil to get around the piston and really give you this sort of feeling of endless suspension, of, of, of sort of floating through things. That's what internal bypass does for you. And that's what that physically looks like on a shock. All right, so let's take a look at this display down here since uh... We, we might as well walk to the end. Huh? You so betcha. You, 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 betcha. Made, you went to all the trouble to we, drag it we, out we here. We started here. What do we got here? So this is a pretty straightforward, uh, you know, basic application that you would look for with an off-road vehicle. Um, let's say you buy a, an off-road vehicle, you want to put a little bit of a lift on it. That's probably going to be something that comes from the spring, uh, maybe different control arms, that sort of thing. You're going to put a, a performance IFP. That's what you felt in the Silver Jeep. Right. It's a great product. It it's, is. It's, it's specifically tuned for the vehicle that you're in, and it really just allows sort of that first step getting into off-road. Along with the, the shocks, we also have a matching steering stabilizer, which just really helps Very cut back on the, uh, on the feedback that you get yeah. in the wheel. Because that keeps that wheel from exactly. washing back and, and forth. I, you know, when you were in that driving experience, if you looked at how much Dane was working driving the stock vehicle <laughs> versus how little Casey was working in the end vehicle, it's remarkable. All right, now what do we have here? A little bit more advanced. So this is a bit more advanced. This is, you know, somebody who's, who's looking for maybe that all-purpose adventure vehicle. It uses our performance IFP. Again, this is where you get into the adjustability. Uh, to be able to really move things around with, with the uh, high and low speed compression uh -huh. adjustment. Um, this is, is, is just a really good sort of do-it-all setup. 
Um, this is actually what's on my wife's personal vehicle. Really? Um, it's just something that I love it because it's comfortable for day to day. It's comfortable for doing family things, and it's still a very, very capable vehicle when we go off road. We pair this with our through shaft uh, steering stabilizer, which really just has the most neutral feel of a stabilizer in the market. And happy wife, happy life. Amen. Right? Amen. All right. And last but not least, so now we go all the way over to our full factory setups. This is really something that's inspired from our motorsport division. Um, Fox was born in racing. Um, yep. Racing is still very, very important to us. Yep. This is the type of stuff that is the direct trickle down from those racing efforts. Uh, so with this, you see uh, an even bigger body. This has our patented internal bypass. You notice here, it's got a recircling, recirculating oil system. Gotcha. So hot oil goes in, cold oil comes back out because you've got this cactus cooler that's making sure that the heat's being dissipated as efficiently as possible. Wow. And you can learn all about this on the Academy. Absolutely, you can learn about this on Fox Academy. Uh, you can actually go to ridefox.com and find fitments for your vehicle. We have a real easy to use uh, fitment finder. All right, and you also have a way if you need to take a phone call, you can call Fox, talk to the technical guys. Yep, yep. And it's the all... beauty is the technical guys are technical guys. Absolutely. They know the product inside and out. Fox, Fox is a great place because one of the things that makes Fox great is just all of the enthusiasts that we have working yeah. there. Um, you know, this isn't just what we do during the week. Oftentimes we're sneaking out together on the weekends, getting <laughs> our families together, going off-roading, having a good time. Corey, I can't thank you enough for one, having us out. Goodness gracious, we're outdoors, it's beautiful out. And uh, this is the most fun I've had in a long time. So folks, if you're looking for a quality shock to do the job and do it right, sounds like a commercial, but hey, when it's right, it's right, ridefox.com. Hey, we're running out with Corey Eastman. We're going to see what this Jeep actually does on the Fox track here at Lake Elsinore. So Corey, kind of tell us what we're going through here. So this is our Performance Elite. So this is an adjustable suspension, uh, dual compression adjustable. Uh, you'll notice that it's, it's tuned for the vehicle. It's ability to just handle different loads, uh, different speeds, all that sort of stuff. Uh, really just allows you to optimize your suspension no matter what kind of things you're going through. Um, you know, we do this large slalom and you notice that the, the body roll side to side is much more controlled than you have in a standard unit. Um, it just really allows more comfort, more control for the driver, the passenger, uh, everybody in the vehicle. And really what people need to do is ride the stock Jeep first and this will blow you away. It's like one to a million. 10-4 JL entering truck. Yeah, because when you're in that stock Jeep, you couldn't drive half as fast as what you're going. So a lot of it is what happens after an event. So we just hit a telephone pole, and literally the vehicle, the shocks deal with it. They turn that energy into heat, uh, and we simply move forward. Here we're going through a fairing twister. Uh, it's Nothing's going to make you not feel it, uh, but you go through it. It deals with the energy, and you're, you're moving forward. Right. And in the stock Jeep, we couldn't go more than, what, 20 miles an hour. There was no way you could do this speed in that stock Jeep because it was, it was just brutal. Just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so suspension is all about control. We don't tune uh, to make somebody go fast. We tune to make you comfortable and to make you feel like you've got control of the vehicle. Speed, if that's what you're looking for, is a byproduct of comfort. It's a byproduct of your control. Uh, the more that you have both of those, the more that speed and other things are going to come. Well, as I mentioned earlier too, with a shock system like this, it actually builds confidence in you and the vehicle as to what you can do with it. Because when you're out slipping and sliding around and you have no control, you have no confidence. Exactly. That's, that's exactly what we're trying to do is make sure that you're just able to truly enjoy all the performance that your vehicle has to offer. Uh, and, and being able to control that is exactly the feeling that almost anybody is looking for. And I tell you folks, if you're gonna do this to your Jeep, go with the Elite. I mean, I know the other systems are phenomenal and these are a little bit more expensive, but don't you agree, the Elite's the way to fly? Absolutely, it's, it, it's a wonderfully adjustable product yeah. uh, and it just it's something that offers a, a, a very long lifetime of just enjoyment and, and fun. So what we're gonna do folks, is we're gonna take another lap just to kind of get a 
a feel for it uh, of what Fox shocks can do for your Jeep or really not just a Jeep. I mean, because you build systems for almost any off-road vehicle out there, don't you? Yeah, I mean, we're using Jeeps today because we wanted to use a common platform so right. that we can compare. But really, this is the same thing that you would experience if you took your pickup truck and drove it with standard suspension versus the three different levels of suspension that we might offer. So it, it really is, is all about more what, what the suspension technology Wait, is than the, uh, than the actual platform. How far back can you go with a uh, vehicle age to adapt a Fox shock system to that vehicle? When it comes to vehicle age, it really depends on what generation the vehicle might be on. So uh -huh. there are vehicle platforms where the shocks haven't changed in 10 years or more. Oh, uh, I got it. Now, beyond that, um, I also happen to be into to classic cars and stuff like that. So I have a vintage Bronco. Um, for something like that, I can actually buy a universal shock uh, and even, even work with a tuner to tune specifically for that vehicle. So if we have a shock or if you have a vehicle that we don't have a direct fitment for, uh, we do have the ability to still have a shock for you. Gotcha. Or you could also, you know, if you're a fabricator or you know a fabricator, let's say you got an old 46 power wagon that you would like to adapt. I mean, somebody could build you oh, a mounting system. Uh, absolutely, yeah. There, you know, when it comes down to it, uh, the technology is available across our universal fitment product as well as our specific fitment product that we're experiencing today. Oh, so you do have a universal system. Uh, absolutely, yeah. So our, our universal systems are what you would order for something like what you're describing. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, because like, for example, I drive a, an 87 Toyota 4x4, you know, and I'm thinking, wow, I'd love to. I mean, not that I would do this to it, but it also gives you a great ride on the asphalt. Well, and, and the reality is we understand that, you know, 90% of the driving that, right. that our shocks go through, they're on the highway. It's, yeah. it's you know, it's, it's driving to work. It's going to the grocery store. It's running around with the kids. Uh, and so first and foremost, we want to make sure that the suspension feels great on the road. Uh -huh. That's where the whole slalom thing that we started with really gives you that sense of how the vehicle controls what the dynamics are. And that's really the, the main point that we're trying to get across. But it looks good too. It does look good it as well. It looks good. And it's kind of a badge of honor. You know, when, some, when you come rolling up with your truck and everybody says, ooh, look, they got Fox shocks on that rig. You know, that's kind of what I'm thinking. You're just having too much fun, Corey. Oh, this is work, man. I know, you're sweating bullets, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I tell you. And folks, don't forget the Fox Academy. You can learn anything and everything you want to know about a, Fox, a shock system before you do anything to your vehicle. So that way, when you do it once, you don't have to do it twice. Corey, thanks a million. You're the best. I'll see you at the Baja. I have a sneaky feeling. Thank you. All right. Don't forget to tune in to Cruising. Stay online with us. Get subscriptions. That way you'll be alerted every time we come up with something because you have no idea what we're going to do next. And you know what? Neither do we. Why? Because we're cruising.